Today, I'm going to be attempting to turn a tent into a house in Bloxburg. Okay, so firstly, we have to name the plot. Um, why is the house value 1,500? Last time I checked, there is nothing on this plot. Okay, empty plot. We're going to change this to tent. More like a house. Oh, God, please, no! No! Okay, so if we go into the decorate category in Bloxburg and we type up tent, as you can see, there's four tents to choose from. There is this simple tent, a family tent, a pop-up canopy tent, and lastly, an event tent, which uh, is pretty pretty big. Y'all, I've lost control of this tent. Okay, so out of these four tents, we can choose which one to turn into a house. This one would be cool, but it is very, very small. There's the family tent, and honestly, I think this has a lot of potential. Pop-up canopy tent, it's not really like a tent tent. And finally, we have the event tent. The event tent is actually huge, and the walls actually fit perfectly on this. Like, look, boom, boom, boom. Look at that. I could turn that into a proper home. But again, I feel like that would be really easy. So I think what we're going to stick with is the family tent. So what we're going to do is plop this right in the middle and the reason I'm putting this in the middle is because I want to have a little bit of landscape if you will. It could be kind of boring if there was just like a tent in the middle of nowhere. So we're gonna have a few mountains, a little bit of greenery, really add to that whole camp aesthetic. I actually love camping even though it kind of scares me. Last time I was camping I literally woke up to like a spider on my face. Some people are like Alaska show me the way you do landscaping. You want to you wanna know how the way I do landscaping? Look at this. I just place random walls everywhere. $2,500! I love being poor. I literally have a million dollars. Why am I saying I'm poor? We're gonna get a few of these mansard roofs and we're gonna place them like all randomly like this. As you can see, it kind of looks like a little mountain. So then we just kind of go around and do the same over here. The thing about making mountains in Bloxburg is that they are so expensive, but worth it because they look mm -mm -mm, scrumptious. Y'all call me Picasso with the way I'm landscaping right now. And voila, we have our mountains. And now time for the expensive part, which is adding the trees. Oh, $2,000 for a tree. That's so fun. Let's buy like 15 of them. My question is why on earth are trees so expensive? in Boxburg. I call this game How Fast Can We Watch Alaska Violet's Money Go Down. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow, what a fun game. Love that game. Okay, and back here is where I want to have a little waterfall because we want to give the tent a little bit of a view, you know? And you know what? We'll also make this out of pool. All right, and there we go. We have our little waterfall. And now finally to start working on this tent. All right, so this is what the tent looks like so far. I think we're going to go with like a modern house. So maybe like vertical planks for the front and then the rest of it can be bricks like that. What does this look like from the inside? Oh my God. Why does it look like a big oven? I feel like a metal roof would look nice. Okay, and for the inside, obviously these are beds, but you're not actually going to be able to see them. I know, illusion. Also, I think I might change the tent this way, because that way you can have a beautiful view of the waterfall. So to make this a house, I think the first thing we need to do is add some lighting, because, well, we can't add windows to a tent, obviously. So I think we're going to stick to lots of these, like, lanterns, because I think they're really cute. It also make the house look nice and cozy. And this is kind of like a little front porch, so I feel like some fairy lights would look really cute cute. Imagine we can't add fairy lights. Uh, they fit perfect. When I say I like camping, this is what I mean. I want a cute little tent. It looks nice and aesthetic. Let me know in the comments if you guys like camping. I actually don't know how I feel about it. Like it sounds fun, but then like when you're actually camping at nighttime, it's so scary. Like I'd never go camping by myself. I'd always go with friends. Actually, my friends are a little bit of like weirdos. They would literally like fart in the tent and like lock all the way. I don't know. <laughs> Why am I telling you this? Oh, the only thing is we can't place floors because it's not like lined up properly. That is so annoying. What if we place the tent like this? Can we place the floors now? Ah, we can. I found a loophole. Okay, so this is going to be like a little front porch area and we can make this detailed by layering it a few times. And then outside on this tent, we need like a fireplace, a few chairs. Okay, so for the chairs, there's these luxury beach sun chairs. They give me like a camping vibe. What the hell is that chair doing? Get over here, you weirdo. Like there's these camping chairs. They don't give me that oomph, you know? Unless we go into comfort. What's in comfort? Oh, now we're talking. Oh, we can have a hammock out here. Yes, please. Okay, I think we're just gonna stick to these luxury beach sun chairs. We'll probably be like camping with some friends, so maybe two. I feel like they need some pillows and some blankets. Oh, <gasps> we can't? That is so rude. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna place a transparent cube on the top of this chair, just so I'm able to place pillows and blankets on top. <laughs> it worked. I'm a genius. Thank you, thank you. We also need a nice cozy blanket on top, because you know, when it's camping, it is freezing. Okay, there we go. We've got camping chair one and then we'll just copy this basic shape and add it on the other chair y'all low-key this video is like making me want to go camping again i feel like we also need like a picnic blanket out here just in case you want to go for a little picnic Wait, does blocks even have a picnic basket oh they do 
That is so cute. Am I dumb or did Bloxburg always have that? Actually, don't answer that question. Okay, so another thing we need on this little patio is obviously a barbecue because if you're going camping, you always need to bring the grill because every time I think of camping, I just think of like having a nice barbecue so we can put the grill like right here. It's probably not safe considering it's like right next to the tent. Like if this grill catches on fire, so does the tent, but <laughs> we can also place some towels under here. Well, napkins. And you know what? Now that I think of it, probably a fire extinguisher. <laughs> we have to be prepared prepared for anything. Also, another thing we need under here is like all of our utensils. So like some bowls, some plates. Oh my gosh, you know what I'm missing as well? A little custom made coffee table. Cause like, where are you gonna eat your barbecue? Okay, we're gonna make this out of wood. Also put like a transparent vertical cylinder on top to make it like nice and glossy. And you know what? On top of this, we can have like a mug and our little daily newspaper. Cause when you're going camping, you're not gonna be on your phone. Okay, now the last thing I wanna add out here is some torches to kind of light up the place. Oh yes, fire right next to the tent because that makes such logical sense. Okay, so I'd say this is the outside done. Okay, so now to start decorating the inside of this tent. Obviously, as you can see, it's very limited space. And the only difficult thing here is we can't actually place furniture on top of the tent. For example, if I were to add a toilet, you can't just place the toilet. Oh, okay, apparently you can. <laughs> Never mind. My only problem here is that you can see the beds. So I'm just gonna place a cube on top of these beds to kind of cover it up. Because obviously I'm turning this tent into a house. So it's gonna have to have a toilet, a bathroom, a shower, a kitchen, a lounge room, all in the this very very limited space so firstly cover the beds up with a basic shape like so okay so we've got our first little section over here okay so for the toilet i guess we can just put this um mighty flush toilet right in the corner you're kind of going to be hunched over while going to the toilet but oh well and because we don't really have anywhere to like place these toilet holders we're gonna have to use a toilet paper stand instead one thing i absolutely hate about camping is uh going to the toilet however i have no idea where i'm gonna add the sink i don't even think we can fit a sink in here oh my gosh you know what it feels like I'm doing right now. You guys remember when I used to do those like toddler houses? <laughs> it actually feels like I'm building a house for toddlers. Actually, unless I put the sink first and then I place the basic shape. Haha, -ha, she is a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am actually a certified genius. You know what? Marble sink because I'm a material girl. Also, don't get me wrong. I love like the beach. I love the water. I literally live like one minute from the beach, but you know what the worst feeling is? When you're getting out of the water and all the sand is like stuck on your toes and it's all like dried up and you're just like, oh, I want to go home. Okay, low key, why is this bathroom looking so good? It's like taking up 90% of the tent, but I just realized how on earth am I going to fit a shower and a bathtub in here? Uh, <laughs> actually, you know what? Showers, they're usually like outside. Like when you're going camping, the shower is usually outside. Okay, and I think the last thing we're going to fit in this bathroom is a little clothing rack. We have room to change our clothes. Okay, and there we go. We've got our beautiful bathroom. The last thing we need to add is lights, but we can't fit any regular lights. So I think instead we're just gonna use like a lantern and then finally we have to cover this up with a wall because privacy hello actually you know what we might make this front bit like a big wall because we can't add a door because it's not big enough so instead of a door we're going to add semi-transparent vertical cylinders and we're gonna try and make it like appear like a curtain so like three like this oh my this 638 dollars each y'all ain't no way see there we go we've got a little curtain at the front like look how cute that looks oh the only difficult thing is right i can't cover this with a wall or a basic shape because of the way the tent is structured like if i were to put a wall right here it would come out of the back of the tent and look crazy so you know what instead of a basic shape we can just put like a cute little room divider right here so that way we have some privacy and it still divides the bathroom from like the rest of the tent now that i think of it though that's actually so gross like imagine just taking a poo and then like walking not even a meter to your bed you're probably like alaska how on earth are you going to add the kitchen the bedroom and the living room all in this little tent that is a really great question i actually have no idea hola soy dora do you guys have any idea how to help me can you find where i asked okay so i added the rest of the floor in the tent i reckon the bedroom can go like in this corner and for the bed obviously like as much as i want to add a big transitional double bed as you can see we literally cannot i mean we can it would just be a very very tight fit and loki looks so comfy though oh my gosh should we add a tent inside of the tent wait that's kind of fun i think for realistic purposes we're just going to be adding a sleeping bag the question is where on earth do i put the sleeping bag i think we're just going to put it here so then this middle section can kind of be the kitchen okay now i'm hoping i am praying to the camping gods that we can place a pillow and some blankets on here because if we cannot i'm gonna go crazy yes we can thank you camping gods i love you okay so we're gonna make this the most comfy bed you've literally ever seen in your life like i want people to look at this bed and just fall asleep instantly so i reckon firstly we need to add stacks of blankets on here so a little quilt cover on the top
top, another quilt cover on the end. Because you have to remember, like, you're going camping. It's going to be cold. You're going to need lots of blankets. Oh my gosh, you know what this is reminding me of? School camp. I don't know if you guys have, like, school camp where you live. It's kind of like where all your grade goes on, like, a massive camping trip. I remember mine so vividly because someone literally had, like, a diarrhea and they had to get sent home. <laughs> Oh, and uh, you thought I was done adding blankets? Darling, I just begun. <gasps> Why are these blankets $1,200? They better be putting gold inside of these blankets to make them that expensive. Like, who's gonna spend that much on blankets? Me, I am. Okay, so we've got all our nice fluffy blankets. And now we need to put a bunch of pillows. I'm talking a bunch of them. I'm not talking one. I'm not talking two. I'm not talking three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna have nine pillows because we are absolutely insane. Insane in the membrane, I say. Oh, I love puffing up these pillows. Like, look. Look at this, ready? Boom, they're puffed up. Having lots of pillows is fun, except when you have to make your bed. And it is so annoying. I don't know about you guys, but I have like six pillows on my bed. Okay, so we're just gonna be painting all these pillows. So they kind of match with like the whole modern aesthetic vibe that's going on. This elephant's kind of it's like staring at me weird. I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, and there we go. We've got our beautiful comfy bed. Now for the living room, obviously we can't add like a massive living room. So what we're gonna do is add a few of these simple desk organizers at the end. And then on top of this, we can have a TV. And at nighttime, it's gonna be like a little bit dark in here. So instead of a big bulky lamp, we're just gonna have a cute salt lamp in the corner. Okay, and then at the end of our bed, we need our bedside table. I reckon a cute like lava lamp. Do you know what we need in here? <laughs> we need some flowers because it's actually gonna stink in here like we need some daisies because hello the toilet is right there okay and last of all we'll put a book on the table all right so we've got our bed slash living room okay now for the kitchen i have no idea how i'm gonna add this i feel like the first thing we need is like a basic shape in the middle this is where the island bench is gonna go i know we're adding an island bench in a kitchen that's like the size of your pinky but all right so we're gonna have a nice marble island bench can we fit a small cutting board on here we can because i want to have our cute little peanut butter and jelly set up. And a nice lemon bowl because I love the smell of lemons. Okay, so we can't add like a really big fridge. So instead we're going to add a mini fridge. I reckon like by the window here. And the good thing about this fridge is that it also acts as like a counter. So we're actually going to put the peanut butter and jelly set up on top of this. Also, I'm not going to add a sink in the kitchen because we have a sink in the toilet. So I don't think we need two sinks. And the last thing we need in a kitchen is an oven. Okay, that oven is humongous. Another thing that I forgot to add in here is like carpet. I feel like we need a carpet in the bathroom and maybe one at the end of the bed as well so your feet aren't freezing as soon as you hop out of bed and you know what we'll put some slippers at the end of our bed as well okay and then finally some more of these fairy lights with the photos and we've also got a little bit more room on the fridge so i'm thinking we can have our spices our little tea kettle on the side of the fridge we can fit our utensil rack that actually comes in handy this fridge is so good so now it is time to have a look inside okay so the tent house is all finished and comes to a total of a hundred and nine thousand okay so if we we make our way through the forest. As you can see, we are surrounded by this beautiful greenery. We have a little picnic here, which I didn't even know Bloxburg had. Oh my god, I can open and close it. Guys, look at this hot chocolate. It has a little smiley face on the marshmallow. So yeah, we've got our little picnic set up here. What I love about this tent is that it's like right next to the waterfall. So if you want to go for a little dip, boom. There you go, a nice little dip in the pool. The thing is, I couldn't fit the shower out here, so if you want to have a little outdoor shower, it's going to be a little cold, there's not really much privacy, but I mean, I have a little room divider. It doesn't really do much, but yeah, that's how, this is our little outdoor shower. And then here is how the outside of the tent turned out. Like, this is so cute. It's making me want to go camping. Like, not only do we have a full outdoor grill here, we've also got a bit of seating options, so we can sit here, have a nice coffee, read the newspaper, and enjoy the sunset. Just ignore the clothes literally coming out of the tent. You see nothing, okay? All right, and making our way inside, these are kind of meant to be curtains to make the tent like appear that it has some privacy. And then if we make our way inside, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. We kind of got to like, you know, squeeze our way in. And there we go, we've got our beautiful, beautiful tent. I think my favorite bit of this tent is obviously the bedroom because I mean, hello. And yes, you can actually sit in the bed, which is like amazing. Although if you do sit in the bed, all the pillows in the blankets just like randomly go away. I don't know why it does that, but it does. And what I love about this is that there's also like a TV at the end of your bed. Like you can just sit in your bed, watch Gordon Ramsay, look at the beautiful waterfall outside. And then the middle part is kind of the kitchen. We've got like a random island bench with like a lemon bowl. We've got our oven and fridge, which also acts as the counter. 
corner, which is actually so smart. Like we've got the tea maker, we've got all our utensils. Like I love this fridge. And as you can tell by our room divider, back here we have the bathroom, which honestly turned out way better than I expected. It's actually really spacious. The only thing, however, is if I sit on the toilet, half of my head is sticking out of the tent. But so yeah, we've got our toilet here. We've got our sink, which actually just fit. Like surprisingly, my head's barely going through the tent. So I'm actually really proud of how the sink turned out. And then back here, we've also got like a face mask. I forgot that actually changes your face. I don't know how to get rid of this. And then here we've got our clothes. So you want to like customize your character, change your outfit. A lot of you guys actually like my Barbie outfit. So that's what we're going to do the outro in. It's given yeehaw. So yeah, that was me turning the tent into a house in Blocksburg. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I think it was so fun. Finally, the face mask is off my face. I looked crazy. So yeah, if you have any ideas of what you want me to do next, make sure to comment them below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.